to lose confidence in one's body is to lose confidence in oneself, said philosopher Simone de Beauvoir. It, it was kind of just a knowing of, I'm not okay. Like, something's wrong, and I, I, I didn't know who to admit it to. I guess that would be my feeling. I was a little lost. Senior Nikki Bedreau was diagnosed with an eating disorder her freshman year of high school. I had, it's anorexia athletica. People don't usually hear about that one, but you work out so much that the food that you do eat, it's like you didn't even eat at all. And then um, also binge eating. Our school psychologist and social worker gave us insight on this disorder. So treatment for that is going to be um, mental health services, it's going to be therapy, it's going to be working out what issues that you have that lead you to, um, you know, feeling that way. I got a therapist at Renew Counseling Center, which is the most amazing place in the world. It's where uh, counselors have had eating disorders and they know exactly what you've gone through and I was able to talk with them and they were able to give me steps to just live my life without panicking, I guess. Many people, along with Nikki, who are diagnosed with a mental illness, use art as a coping mechanism. You want to use coping skills. A lot of people like music, a lot of people like art, drawing, um, sculpture, clay, anything Writing. to kind of keep their mind yeah. off of it. Nikki is lucky to have had a support system, otherwise her story would be different. Without the people in my life to help me, I definitely wouldn't be where I'm at and actually I, I would be dead. Um, and, that, and that's a scary thing to think about, but it's also amazing to be able to share it with people because a lot of people are going down the same path and without encouragement from other people who had gone through the same thing, I wouldn't be here.